On One Photo Raw is renowned for its powerful raw editing capabilities at an affordable price. However, if you're a beginner, you may not know about its unique Photoshop-like features that distinguish it from competitors. In this video, we'll be demonstrating one of these features, the ability to blend exposures of raw files. This process, which typically requires a separate compositing editor like Photoshop or Affinity Photo, allows you to better capture high contrast scenes. But before we run through the demo, let's quickly recap what exposure blending is. Exposure blending is a photo editing technique that combines multiple images of the same scene captured at different exposure levels to produce a single image with enhanced dynamic range. This method preserves details in both bright and dark areas that a single exposure might miss, making it ideal for high contrast scenes like landscapes with bright skies and dark foregrounds. By the way, if you'd like to see this technique demonstrated using Affinity Photo, check out my video on the topic. Now you might be wondering why you might use On One Photo Raw over Affinity Photo for exposure blending. I can think of two reasons. The first is more robust raw editing tools. While Affinity Photo excels in pixel-based editing and compositing, its raw editing capabilities are less advanced. For instance, its developed persona, the module for raw processing, lacks AI-powered features like masking or noise reduction. In contrast, On One Photo Raw offers a suite of powerful AI-based tools, including AI masking, no noise AI, tack sharp AI, and generative erase, all seamlessly integrated into its main interface. The second reason is a more intuitive workflow for photographers. On One Photo Raw includes a built-in photo manager creating a streamlined workflow for blending images. You can process raw exposures, stack them as layers, and blend them without leaving the software. Conversely, Affinity Photo lacks a built-in photo manager requiring you to navigate outside the app to open the bracketed images via File Explorer, which feels less efficient. With these advantages in mind, let's now demonstrate how to perform exposure blending in On One Photo Raw. So here I am in On One. I have navigated to the folder containing my bracketed raw exposures. These were all shot with just an iPhone. Check out the description for the app I used. I'll select two photos, one underexposed by two stops to capture the highlights properly, and one overexposed by two stops, which is properly exposing the shadows. I'll right click and choose Open as Layers. There, the images now appear as layers in the Layers panel. Do note that this type of layer, which is used for compositing, is different from the more common Adjustment layer, which appears under the Local tab. Examining the underexposed image, the sky does look dramatic. However, zooming in on the subject reveals significant noise that degrades image quality. Looking at the overexposed bracket shows much better quality. It's cleaner with a lot more detail. However, lowering the sky's exposure reveals clipped details that can't be recovered. Since neither image alone provides the desired quality, let's use exposure blending to achieve a better result. So the first step in the exposure blending process is to ensure the images are aligned. While On One is supposed to have an auto alignment feature, in my experience, it doesn't work really well. As such, I'll perform the alignment manually. I'll start off by zooming in close to the subject. I'll reduce the opacity of the top layer to inspect misalignment. Looking closely, it seems that the layers are adequately aligned. However, if there was any misalignment, you can always use the Move tool to correct it, as I'm doing here. Next, I'll create a mask to blend the best parts of each bracket. To do that, I'll click on the Masking Brush on the left toolbar. I'll choose the Gradient Mask and ensure the preset is set to Linear Bottom. I'll drag down on the image to create the gradient. And I'll ensure a wide transition area for a more natural looking blend. 
There, the blend is looking good. One advantage of On One's gradient tool is the ability to refine the mask using a brush, which is a feature not available in Affinity Photo's Develop Persona gradient tool. Using a soft, low opacity brush, I'll paint over the overexposed areas to fine tune the mask. Next, let's further enhance the image. Another advantage of On One Photo Raw over Affinity Photo is its AI powered masking tools which allow for precise local adjustments. As a reminder, Affinity Photo's Develop Persona lacks AI masking capabilities. I'll use On One's Super Select tool to brighten the subject. And then I'll use the same tool on the eyes. As you can see, these adjustments make the subject stand out significantly. Here is the before and the after. Next, let's explore another challenging example, once again shot in extreme contrast. In this case, I've captured the raw image using my Sony A7C. Despite the camera's high quality, however, you can see that lowering the exposure, it struggles to recover details in the highlights. Fortunately, I've shot multiple bracketed images of the scene. Let's blend in an underexposed bracket to achieve the full dynamic range. I'll click the Add button to import the underexposed image. There, the image has been added as a layer. One challenge of this blend is you might have noticed there is a moving person in the background, which can pose problems for blending as it can cause ghosting artifacts if not handled carefully, or if you're using automated methods. Thankfully, exposure blending gives us full control to help us avoid such issues. Next, let's check the layer for misalignment. Zooming in closely, I notice slight movement and this is not surprising as these brackets were shot handheld. I'll use the transform tool to align the layers. There, the images are now properly aligned. Next, I'll apply a linear gradient mask in the same way as the previous example. I'll correct the overly dark upper areas. For this, I'll use a soft low opacity brush. I'll make sure to set the brush to erase with edge detection enabled. By the way, if you want to learn how to fully leverage on one's masking brush, check out my video on that topic. Next, I'll use on one's powerful haze tool, another feature absent from Affinity's developed persona, to enhance the washed out color and detail in the sea and sky. As you can see, this helps make the image pop. Finally, I'll apply AI denoise and sharpen to enhance image quality. Here is the before and the after. As you can see, the result is impressive. So that's how you blend images with On One Photo Raw. Hopefully you can see it is a highly capable app and easy to use. There's really no need for a Photoshop subscription or an additional app. Not bad for $70. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about this process, please share them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.